You are watching the Battle of the Burrows 2016 highlights presented by yours truly, PJ, as your host and commentator. Let's see what we got. Oh, Scarborough's Owen with the layup all the way there. Fast break by himself finishes it nicely. It is Scarborough versus Markham. Markham being the home team here at the Battle of the Burrows. This was, I think, the first annual. Oh, they just made that shot. Right back at you, Scarborough, Markham says. We went here and it was an amazing time. A lot of food. Um, people watching basketball. There was bleachers. So next next year, if you want to watch some basketball, want to rep for your borough, then come out. Owen fighting through. What? Little fade away. Nice little touch there by Owen. Good shot. Both communities represented well. We see the Markham being represented by FCCM athletes. That's the Federation of Chinese Community in Markham. And Scarborough represented by Filipinos. So we got a good Asian battle here at the Battle of the Burrows, AKA Night It Up, where all the food vendors are just chilling there. If you look in the background, Scarborough bringing it up, Norman with the ball. And they're just reading the defense. Reading the defense. It was a close game all the way through. See how it turns out. Looking around, Alley have the ball. They're trying to get it to the post. So let's see if they can pass it in. Ugh, turned over. Markham taking an advantage and passing it up forward. But they turn over the ball too. Scarborough has it. Let's see if they can convert. They slow it down. Take a shot. Rebounded on top of the other person going coast to coast tries to finish it's no good Scarborough with the rebound quick push Norman gets the ball Ooh, smooth move that's for two nearing the end of the first half Markham versus Scarborough team struggling to shoot the basketball because of the wind different environment here when you're playing outside Markham has the ball taking it up surveying the court number nine looking around gives a pass Passing a pass, gets in the middle but can't seem to convert. Scarborough bringing up the ball. Norman passes up front. Christian with the shot. Ah, doesn't go in. Good luck though. Fighting for the ball, passes up front. Scramble. Alley attacking the basket, passes it out to the outside. Norman with the shot. It's a miss again, but Owen there to clean it up. Doesn't clean it completely. It's a miss. Markham pushing it up. And Markham finishes with a nice left-handed layup at the end of the half. All right, I'm here with Clement, the head organizer of the CCYAA of the first annual Battle of the Boroughs event. So how does it feel being this uh, your first event here at the Night Up event in Markham, Ontario? Yeah, we've been doing this now for about 15 years, but this is the first year that we've had the Battle of the Boroughs, and it's really an opportunity to extend uh, you know, our platform out to other communities, and that's why today we have representatives from the South Asian community, Filipino community, Korean community, and of course the home team, the Chinese community. So what do you guys uh, expect to do uh, going on from here to next year? What do you guys uh, expect for this growth of just one event, and especially for like this whole uh, Night It Up uh, festival in Markham? Yeah, well, you know, I think that on top of all the basketball that we have here, you can see we have things like soccer, bubble soccer, uh, all sorts of different sports. And what we're really trying to achieve is to let all other cultures know that, you know, there's this amazing event that happens here every year. Uh, you can grab some food, you can play some sports, you can watch out some games, and, and just make sure that everybody has a good time. All right, thanks, Clement. Start of the second half, let's see which team comes out strong. Markham. Grabbing the ball after a nice block passes. Little fast break layup to start up, start off the second half. Scarborough pushing the pace. Passes to Norman. Norman passes out. Owen with double fakes. Makes everyone fly and it's good. Take that. Little jumper to end that little hectic play. Markham comes down, but there's a foul and play stops. When we were here, everyone, everyone was on their toes. Everyone was rooting for the home team, but there was a small pocket of Filipinos rooting for Scarborough. Filipinos go where the basketball is. Scarborough passing it around. Nice little shot, banking and in, little Tim Duncan in it. Scarborough converting that little bank shot from a pass. 
Markham bringing it back up. Looking for the post. Markham did a lot of post play in this game, trying to take advantage of Scarborough. Here's our last few highlights of the game. Markham playing defense. Ali has the ball, passes to the post. Oh, Christian trying to post it up. Owen grabs the rebound. Beast mode. Puts it up. Finishes with finesse with the contact. Two people on him. Go straight to the free throw line. That's what you that's what you see here. Number 11, Owen. Finishing with contact. Owen completes the three-point play and what they call an and one. Markham holding on to the ball, looking around. As I recall, this was a close game. Markham hits a three quickly after that three-point play that Owen produced. Ali attacking in and out, attacks the body, flips it up, and that's good. Little floater. That's how you do it. What up? It is PJ. I'm here with two of the teammates from the Team Philippines. They're representing Scarborough, you know, sponsored by Bell. But they're here in Markham. They just played the home team. So I just want to ask them about what's their experience like playing outdoor. How do you guys like playing outdoor? Or if you don't like playing outdoor, what's the difference? Oh, first off, you got to you gotta take into account wind factor, man. Jump shots, it's going to be tricky out there. Even even the pavement, like, it's a bit uneven. You got you to be careful of that stuff. So. It's pretty hard. It's gonna be a physical game down low. Obviously, you gotta get inside, higher percentage shots. You know what I mean? It's because of the wind and everything like that. What do you? What are your thoughts? Uh, to be honest, my last time I played outdoor was probably like 2006. Hoop it up when they used to run that. Um, uh, it's my first time uh, playing outdoors, and uh, it's, I mean, with our guys, uh, we play each other in like different leagues. So, I mean, we're okay. But uh, in terms of outdoors, I mean, we gotta get used to um, the floor, the wind, like he said, and. Um, yeah, pretty much it. But uh, overall, I think we'll pick it up, so that's all right. What do you guys think you have to do for the next game? You played the home team. They came out strong, you know. You have an audience cheering for them. The Filipinos are not here, so Filipino TV, you know about this. This is the first time they're doing it. So next year, come support Filipinos. But what do you guys have to do next next game against the next team? Uh, energy. We got to run back on defense. Those, those long outlet passes, man, killing us. We only got like one, two guys getting back. We all got to get back as a team, right? Uh, so I don't know if it's fatigue, I don't know what it is, but we, we got to definitely pick up the energy off the bat from the beginning, off the jump. And would you like to add anything? Uh, yeah, defense. Uh, number one is defense. Uh, playing outdoors, um, obviously it's different playing, uh, playing from indoors, so I mean number one is defense. Transition, all that. Is there anything else you'd like to say to maybe some youth? Because there's some youth Filipinos that watch this show. What do you want to say to those youth that are trying to play basketball or trying to represent Filipinos and trying to play on the court? Well, you know, we all got to start somewhere. Once upon a time, I, I was not good at all, and I just kept working at it by myself every day outside at the park by myself. And you know what? Hard work pays off, right? Over time, people are going to acknowledge what, what you do, and you just got to find your forte, you know what I mean? Just keep out, keep out what you do in everything you do. It doesn't have to be ball. could be anything else out there, you know what I mean? Uh, how about you, Norm? I uh, Stay in the gym, work hard, uh, don't settle. I always, always think that you'll get better, and uh, uh, be smart, play hard, and yeah, just follow your dreams, pretty much. There you have it, Filipino TV. Check out next year if they're in the, in the tournament. I hope you enjoyed the highlights that you just saw from us, so stay tuned.